Hello. <clears throat> Hello, how are you? Hi, hi. Hi, teacher. Hello. ¿Cómo siguió, Carla? Bastante bien. Ay, a que me alegra. Mejor. Sí, sí, yo cuando la vi, yo dije, Carla, qué gusto. Qué gusto que esté. Sí. Sí. Es Gracias. Que no hay... Y estoy con COVID. COVID le salió que es. Sí, pero ya estoy mejor. Vaya, gracias a Dios que va evolucionando bien. Sí. ¿verdad? Eso es súper importante. Sí. El estar, ver que va, que aunque sea eso, pues, pero que va saliendo muy bien de todo, ¿verdad? Sí, ya. <coughs> ya pasé lo peor. Sí, gracias a Dios. Sí. Ya, son como, como cinco días, quizás son los peores, ¿verdad? Sí, cabal, como cinco. Sí. Los Pero primeros hay... tres son los peores. Qué tremendo. Pero sí. miren qué bien. Sí, yo la vi, yo dije, wow, jala. <risa> <risa> que me alegra, que me alegra realmente que ya esté mucho, mucho mejor. Sí, gracias. Eh, adelante, Carlita, con todo. Sí. Vamos a ver la attendance. Creo que me faltan algunos todavía. ¿Qué tal de lluvia por su casa? ¿Is it raining? Yes, it's raining. Here too. It started to rain just a couple of minutes. Yes, teacher. It's raining too. Wow. Yes. Imagine. And here it started to rain just a couple of minutes ago. So let's hope we don't have bad internet, right? Even with the rain. Mm -hmm. Diego. Okay, Diego. Okay. Well, let's see Adriana Marcela. Adriana. No. Ana Alicia. <coughs> Ana Alicia. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Diego Batres. Present teacher. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio, sí, verdad, le oí suavecito. Ok. Eh, Gemma Carolina. Gemma Carolina. No. Jessica. Uy, qué frío. <ríe> José Alfredo. José Alfredo, no here. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Mm. Karen Stephanie. No, no. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Great. Lisset Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Oscar. Rebeca Marcela. Rodrigo Marcelo. Present teacher, estamos. 
Ok, Rodrigo. Ana Grisel. Present teacher. Carolina. Carolina Abigail. Grace Michelle. Rosa Hilda. Luis Mauricio. Luis Mauricio. No. Okay. Well, I'm going to call some people uh, to see if you have connected later on. Luis Mauricio. Rosa Hilda. Grace Michelle. Carolina, Rebeca, Oscar, Karen Stephanie, Present teacher, José Alfredo, José Alfredo, no here, Jessica, Gemma, Carolina, Present teacher. Este, hoy voy a estar de oyente, teacher. Vaya, Gemma, ¿no llega todavía? No, todavía no. Ok. ¿Y Oscar? Oscar, ¿por qué se ha puesto oyente usted? Oscar. Vaya, Oscar Mauricio. Oscar Mauricio, hello. Vaya, quítese el oyente del nombre con el que ha entrado a clase, Oscar. Oscar, hello. Can you hear me, Oscar? Yes, no. Vamos a ver, Oscar. Recuerden que la palabra ponerse oyente es que usted es, no está como, como oficial, digamos, sino que es oyente, ¿verdad? Y el que va a estar oyente en clase significa que usted está trabajando. O sea, son dos oyentes diferentes. Entonces, en el nombre se escriben oyentes solamente los últimos cinco de la lista, ¿verdad? Que ya saben quiénes son, que son los que tienen que escribirse oyente. Los demás no, ¿verdad? No se escriben oyente. Vaya. Ok. <coughs> Let's see. We are going to finish unit one today. So tell Teacher, me how... uh, you didn't pass uh, my name again. Excuse me, Adriana. Que no me tomó la asistencia la primera vez y la segunda no me mencionó. Ay, no le creo. La primera vez sí la soy. llamé, pero no estaba. Ah, la segunda vez ya no subí hasta allá, vea, vamos a ver, Ana Alicia. Ah, cabal, exacto. <ríe> sí, me quedé hasta Jessica. Ana Alicia no guía, Adriana, yes, ok. Sí, es cierto, la segunda vez ya no subí hasta, hasta el primer nombre. Vaya, este, let's see. Hoy, we finish... We finish the unit. We finish unit number one, right? We finish unit one. And we are going to be talking about some very common uh, models. Some models that you already know, right? You already know that we are going to refresh them 
in a different context. Vamos a ver. Sorry. Okay. Va, check. This is our video conference number five. And we have the review. And of course, as I was telling you, we are going to check the use of could and night and how we are going to be using them to make requests, right? Polite requests. Okay, check this couple of questions that we have to begin. What is a promotional activity? Remember uh, last week before Father's Day, we were discussing uh, promotions, right? And some ways of introducing a new item to a menu and how uh, you can introduce that new pro uh, new product. And you were also, you were there telling me that there are some uh, ways like using promotions that one of the of the ones that was more mentioned that using promotions is a good way to introduce a product right so today you're going to tell me what a promotional activity is and how to create successful promotional activities for restaurant products remember we're talking about a restaurant <coughs> Sorry. I'm going to send you, I'm going to send you a groups for you to go and discuss. Ay, que frío tengo yo. <laughs> for you to discuss the questions. I'm sorry. Well, I'm going to make five groups. And I'm going to send you two groups of four and the others will be groups of three. Vamos a ver, tengo a Diego and Oscar working. Who was the other? Gemma, right? Gemma is working too. So, uh, yeah, Oscar, Diego, Diego is here. Mire, tengo una computadora mero sabia, eh? Porque me los manda cabal a los que están trabajando, me los manda, me los manda a grupos más grandes. Oscar. I don't know, I don't see you here. Okay. Okay, there we go. Ready? You will go discuss the questions that I was just showing, right? Okay, there we go. Try to join. Try to join a room, please. Check if you can join a, a room. Oscar, Diego, Elmer. Adriana. Postre de tiramisu. Como para promover el, el postre, ¿no? 
Ok. Research. Y usted y les... uh, Para la uh, pregunta uno. Eh, había puesto a promotional activity is any form made by a business to um, to communicate with um, potential customer. Ok, yo, eh, ay, ¿qué había puesto? Eh, give eh, promotions, eh, fifth, eh, the second product, 50% off, and eh, create eh, the loyalty of the customers. Eh, pro, promoviendo, promoving, teacher, mm -hmm. no. To moving. Sí, o promoting. Promoting, eh, promoting, promote, promoting the, mm -hmm. the consumo, the buying of the, the consume, new product. Mm -hmm, the consume. The consume of, the, of new products. Of the product, yeah. Mm -hmm. Esas eran mis propuestas en la primera. Hasta ahí nomás copié. Entonces, uh -huh. ahí está teacher. ¿ven? Hola, teacher. Hi, how are you? Eh, so, so. I have a question. Tell me. Eh, the activity is the. Eh, the eh, we are the. The view the. The video. O. The answer. O responder sobre lo que nosotros creemos de las preguntas. You are answering the questions, the two questions. Ajá. Uh Ajá, -huh. uh -huh, you have there two questions. The, the answer to the two questions is about eh, lo que nosotros creemos o de alguna parte del, de algún video. No, no, about you, about you. Okay, about, about uh -huh. our. Yeah, what do you think is a promotional activity? Okay. Okay, excellent. So, eh, eh, Karen, eh, uh -huh. what, what do you think about the, the, what is the promotional activity? For me, it sería promocio, promocional, promo, ajá, promocional products. Eh, of my company. But how will you promote the products? How? Um, how would you promote the products of your company? Social media. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sí, porque lo otro es la ¿cómo se llama? Eh, de, eh, calling, eh, o, o llamadas, así sería, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Llamadas telefónicas, calling. Ajá, calling the client. Calling clients. Ajá. Eh. Bueno, de mis productos, <ríe> de trabajo solamente por esos dos medios. Ok, ok. ¿Qué uh -huh. about the otros? Ok, llevamos tres. Uh -huh. Hi, teacher. Hi. <ríe> con, tenemos una duda con, con Elta. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
eh, vaya, digamos cuando la empresa está lanzando un producto nuevo y tiene los combos eh, y dentro del combo le pone un le agrega el producto nuevo como como decir como muestra Ajá, para que casa. el cliente lo pruebe okay. para que el cliente lo pruebe uh -huh. y e irlo introduciendo y presentando eh, cómo se le llamaría eso nosotros lo pusimos como promoción de lanzamiento Ajá, uh -huh, that's a promotion. Uh, you launch a promotion, yeah. Because it's not just giving a, sla a sample, but something like, for example, uh, remember last class we were mentioning that you can uh, make a, a combo, right? Mm -hmm. Introducing mm -hmm. the old, the products that people already know uh, and introducing the new one too. Mm -hmm. Right, so that would be like a, like a making a combo uh, with a new product. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. And, and we can say like launch promotion. Or yeah, launch promotion. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because it's the first time you will present that product. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Eh, I have unidades, 20 clases, sino que son 25, si no me 25, yes. ¿Verdad? No es ahora el corte, ¿o sí? ¿Cómo no? Sí. Ah, pues sí. The, unit, I check it. the long unit is unit 2. Unit 2. Perdón, perdón. Unit 2 oh. is long. En la, cuando lleguemos a la unit 2, allí sí nos vamos largo, porque llegamos hasta ah, como la sesión 14, más o menos. Pero la 1 terminamos hoy. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahí ah, okay. lo, que, lo que ustedes van viendo y es lo que me los confunde, porque antes era sesión 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, tarea 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ¿verdad? Hoy las tareas tienen otro número, por ejemplo, la sesión 1.1, la tarea 1.2, sesión 1. Eh, video 1.3, tarea 1.4. Entonces, así llegamos hasta la 1.9. Son cinco tareas y hoy es la tarea 5. Teacher, sí, reportó la, la tarea 1 que tenía problema. Y fíjese que yo la reporté, que la hayan arreglado, no sé. A mí me sigue dando error la tarea 1.1. Ah, pues no la han arreglado. O sea, las demás pasan bien, pero esa me sigue dando error. O sea, como que está mal contestada. Ah, pues no la han arreglado, fíjese. Vamos a ver. Sí, pero yo la reporté el día que me dijo, ¿quién? Nubia. Yo, yo el sábado, teacher. ¿Verdad? Ah, pues ese día la reporté yo. Ya la voy a reportar sí. otra vez. Yo había estado tratando de hacer la tarea del jueves en la noche y nada. Pasé viernes, que era día feriado, y nada. El sábado igual y me frustré, que digo yo, no puede ser, ya probé de todas sí, formas. Estoy dando error. Ya lo voy a reportar. Ya lo voy a reportar hoy directo. No sé. Sí, yo por eso voy haciendo, y de hecho hice todas las demás, <ríe> para ver si este, hay algún otro. Hay algún o otro. sea que hasta el día de ahora tenemos que tener lista hasta la 1.9. Exacto. Cinco tareas son. Ya voy a revisar. Sí, son hasta la 1.5, ¿verdad? No, 1.9. Es que es lo que le ah, digo. Okay. Es lo, no, no es que sean llevan uno punto también. No, es que lo que pasa es ah. que en este curso, o sea, eso es lo que me lo confunde a ustedes, es que en este curso la, la tarea va 1.1 es la, el video, 1.2 tarea, 1.3 video de la clase 2, 1.4 
tarea 2. 1.5, video 3. 1.6, tarea 3. 1.7, que es la, la, el video, ¿qué? 4, <ríe> ¿verdad? Entonces, así va. Por eso es que llegan con tareas hasta 1.9, pero no significa que sean nueve tareas. O sea, son cinco. ¿Verdad? Y en el periodo, en el, en el, en la unidad 2, en el periodo 2, en la unidad 2, el asunto es diferente. Allí van a ir con dos sesiones, tarea, dos sesiones, tarea, dos sesiones, tarea. Esa es el, el, la unidad 2. Entonces, ahí van a sentir ustedes que, wow, cuántas tareas son. Solamente son cinco. Con la diferencia que como son de dos sesiones, las tareas de la unidad 2 son un poquito más largas. ¿Verdad? Pero igual, solo son cinco. Vamos a reportar acá. Vaya, ¿cómo vamos? Did you finish, chicos? Yes, teacher. No, el primero vamos a decir buena noche. <ríe> No, qué feo, te digo. Que con eso de estar escribiendo con una sola mano, de repente se me va todo con mayúscula y bien feo, porque eso es como estarle gritando a la gente. Va. If you finished, I'm going to take you out. Preguntas dos y tres, ¿verdad? Va, ahí está. Ya lo reporté de nuevo. Espero que hoy sí me la actualice. Ojalá me la actualizaran hoy luego para recoger notas cabales. Y si no, pues ni modo, eh, déjenlo así ahorita. Y cuando lo actualicen, me va a caer la corrección. Hoy. Va, pues let's go. I mean, coming. A ver, tell me, what is a promotional activity? What is a promotional activity? What is a promotional activity? Who can tell me? All you can eat. Okay. All you can eat will From be a promotional activity. Okay. PM to 7 p.m. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, specific time, right? Not all day because they are going to break. <laughs> they are going to break the company all day long and every day they have that promotion. Okay, so that'll be a specific day, a specific hour. Perfect. Uh-huh. What else? Another promotional activity? 51st percent off. Okay. Yes. How do you create successful promotional activities? How? Hmm. 
-hmm. we was talking about that uh, nowadays you can uh, create promotion promotional activities uh, on social media you you can have the access and I think is a little cheaper more than you can yeah that you promote your products in TV or radio. Okay, of course it's cheaper, right? Uh, giving promotions or making the promotion of the products on social media because there are things that are payable, right? Payable means that you have to pay. That. <clears throat> there are other things that can be for free. Uh -huh. Another example of how it so is it a promotional activity? Yes. Is any effort made by a business to communicate with potential customers? Okay. And how do you create a promotional activity? First, planning the activity. Everyone uh, knowing the clients, the customers, yeah. and what they what they want, what they need, creating a, a necessity. Mm -hmm. uh, and then planning the, the strategy based on the information. Okay. You know, Anna mentioned something very important, creating a necessity. There are things that we do not need, but we think we need because uh, the companies know how to create a necessity. For example, changing the phone every year, right? That's a necessity that has been created by the companies that make cell phones. Then they convince you that you need to have the new edition of the phone. Okay. But it's not a real necessity, but we think it is. Okay. Let's listen to Karen and Stephanie. Tell me, Karen. Uh, the first question. Mm -hmm. oh, uh, so do you pay for it? Because on um, holiday, you are at the bench. Okay. Um, and how do you create a successful promotional activity? Uh, you can send bail this one on a specific product. Okay, thank you very much. Great, great, great. Do I have another volunteer? No more volunteers. Teacher. Yes. For the purchase of the main course, mm -hmm. I will give a sample of the new products. For the example, uh, the piece of tiramisu dessert. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Aha, uh -huh. so you can say buy a check. You are buying this product that I'm going to give you a, a sample, right? I'm going to be as to give you a sample of this new product. But if people buy, right? So that is a promotion. Mm -hmm. So you say, okay, I wanna, I wanna sample. So I'm going to, to buy this product, right? Because another, another way is giving the product to all the people who are passing, but probably you will give it to people who never buy and will never do, right? So you're just wasting your resources. But if you give it to people who goes to a place, could have like more opportunity to be successful. Okay, excellent. Now let's go to the conversation check here. Are you ready? Okay, let's repeat. 
Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. Luigi is going to introduce, introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We worked in an action plan. We worked in an action plan. But we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. But we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. The new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? How about promotional activity at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. You know, how to discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. And you hook them with the spicy pizza. The and customer, the customer, the customer will get the green pepper sticks. And you hook them up. And you hook them up with the spicy sticks. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. I didn't think, I didn't think of that. that. I didn't think of that. Like, idea. A good idea. <laughs> You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. You could offer a discount to the people for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Oh my, we call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples. But he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. But he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Okay, one more time. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of a spicy pizza to the menu. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of a spicy pizza to the menu. We worked in an action plan. We work, we work in, in an action plan. plan. But we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. But we, we need, need to save costs, costs and get customers, customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. No, you know, paper is that never sell. Then customers will get the green paper sticks and you hook them with the spicy pizza. Then customers will get the green paper stick and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. Sounds like, like a good idea. idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You may want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. You can offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. My, I will call you later. We will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving samples.
but he isn't telling people the pizza is for spite. Oh, Remember, oh, for bad. Bad. Yeah. 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 Okay, great, great. Any questions here so far? Questions? <coughs> questions? No. No, no question. No teacher. Okay, perfect. What do you think? We have two promotions here, right? Two promotional activities. This is the I get it done. <laughs> I must have it. This is the first promotional activity. And this is the second. What do you think about the first activity? You could discount the green paper sticks that never sell. And then customers will get the green paper sticks and you hook them with the spicy pizza. This is like selling a product that nobody likes or nobody buys with a new product. What do you think about it? Vaya pues, Grace, nos trae. Nos va a traer pupusas, dice Grace. Ajá. Ok, ok. Yes. Ajá. What do you think? Pepper sticks. It's, it's the first one, but the pepper they have in this moment. Yeah. Pepper sticks are part of the menu in the restaurant and nobody buys them. The pizza is new and the pepper sticks are something that nobody buys. What do you think about this promotional activity? Is that a good idea? I don't think so. <coughs> mm -hmm. Why you have to sell or give them a green pepper what stick? What is the main uh, uh, pepper, uh, green pepper stick? Green pepper sticks como palito verde de chile. <laughs> Something like that. Right? Uh -huh. Because imagine, I, I was thinking, right? So that's why I asked. If the activity is to sell a, a product not, not very popular with a new product. Aha, aha, aha. Is that a good idea? Um, maybe. <laughs> I, uh, I think so. No, because it's a new problem. Uh, mm. The people know, know, know. Mm. <laughs> so would you put that better with the product that is sold that people really love instead of with something that people doesn't like or people don't like? Mm -hmm. It's not for everybody. Uh huh. Okay, because uh, what I was thinking, I don't know, you tell me, right? Uh, what I was thinking is okay, if somebody doesn't like the paper sticks, they won't buy it. It's not attractive to people, right? And I want to introduce a product that is totally new with a product that people don't like. What I would do is join and say like, mm, I don't like the green sticks. And that pizza I know probably is not that good. It's similar to the sticks. I wouldn't buy it, right? So what message do you think is the restaurant sending to the people here? What do you think? Is that a good message? Mm -hmm. 
To me, no, no they know they are not showing cre creativity. Okay. And check the other promotional activity. It says you might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event, like a concert or a baseball game. Yeah, that would be good, right? Hasta allí estamos bien. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the concert. Is that a good idea? Yeah, mm -hmm. is that a good idea? That's like a hook, right? So yeah, you say, right. well, I'm going to tell me an event that is close right now. A match can be a base, a, a, a football match, a football match. Yeah. Because we don't have baseball. But for us, it could be like a, a soccer game. Or a concert that this year there are a lot of concerts for the rest of the year, right? So you could have that discount. You know, another promotional activity that I have seen in some restaurants is a, that they give a ticket for the movie and they don't lose, and the movie doesn't either because people don't go to the movies alone, right? So if you give one ticket for the movie, people will go and buy at least another ticket for the movie that is not sold, right? And they will buy the product because they want a ticket to the movie. So that will be an, another promotional activity. But here, the one of the concert, I like it. How, let's think about this one. How would you make that promotional activity something good? Something that will hook, like gancho, right? To attract the customers, how? How can you fix that promotional activity? Hmm? What change would you do there to make that promotional activity be good or sound good? I will let you think, right? And I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to go practice the conversation answer the questions that also think about a way. I'm not saying change the promotional activity. I'm saying think of a way to, to help this spicy pizza be introduced. How can you fix this promotional activity? If you say it's not a good idea to introduce a product that nobody wants with a new product, so it will be a, a fail. So how can you fix this situation? Think about it and get ready to tell me when you come back. Let's see, yeah, now I'm sending you in pairs. You're 20. Jose Alfredo ya está, ¿verdad? No, ¿quiénes son los que no están? Oscar, yes, teacher, aquí estoy. Oscar Diego, ok. Oscar Diego and, and Gema. Gema, right? Yes. Vamos a ver. O ya llegó, Diego. No, teacher, en unos minutitos. Ah, va, ok, estamos bien. Gemma, 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 you're working, right? Sí, mi, pero igual yo ya voy llegando. Ah, perfecto, perfecto. Vamos a ver.
Se me perdió Oscar. Diego. No veo a Diego tampoco. He already said that he is in. No, on es. On the way. José Alfredo. Pero ah, no, so... lo, no lo hallé aquí. Ah, ya lo vi. <ríe> Vaya, pues. Va, está. Ok. Now we are ready. Let's go. Remember, practice the conversation. Think of a way of correcting that uh, promotional activity and answer the questions. Okay, so you're doing three things here. There you go. Try to join. Grace, check if it appears. I am looking for the conversation. It's on yeah. H. And your camera? What page was that we were working? I'm going to paste it there in the in the chat, Anna, for you to. Mm. Teacher, fíjese que a mí la tarea, la, la primerita. Sí, da error. Ay, gracias a Dios, yo decía, mire, traté de todo. Que lo que pasa. Yo también, yo estaba a punto de preguntar. Sí, a mí me escribió Nubia. Wow. Eh, sábado. Entonces entré a ver y, y lo que sucede es que le falta Dan. Le falta la palabra Dan al número dos y número tres y tiene que llevarlo uh -huh. entonces ahorita ustedes pónganle dan ahí dejen lo que les aparezca malo yo claro. ya lo reporté lo acabo de reportar otra vez porque lo reporté el sábado pero quizás no lo no han podido revisarlo mire teacher sí aquí Ana eh, no tiene que poner toda la oración solo va a poner bigger than ah ok Solo y uso mayúscula al inicio. No, quítele el espacio. Ajá. Ok. Vale. Bigger than yours. Y quítele el yours y quítele el punto. Ok. Aquí, more beautiful. <coughs> Sorry. Salud, bless you. More beautiful than. Esa me da mal a mí. Sí. Pero póngale la U a beautiful, Ana. Beauty. B a U, ¿verdad? Ajá. More beautiful than, póngale el than, porque el dan. Okay, okay. Entonces, eh, cuando hagan la corrección, ya a mí me va a parecer bueno, que ahorita le aparezca malo, así dejen. Okay. More interesting than. Uh -huh. Okay. Non smoker usually live longer, solo era longer, ¿verdad? Ajá, longer than. Longer than N is better. Mm -hmm. Better than. Vale. Se supone en teoría que así. Yes. Aún no me yeah. sale, mire. No, mire, esa es lo que les estoy diciendo, Ana. Esa de ah, okay. que está buena. Uh -huh. Bye. Así déjela. Cuando ellos hagan la corrección, si no la hacen, 
o ahorita ya no creo porque ya, ya salieron, pero si la sí. hacen mañana sí. o pasado, yo voy a revisar mañana por la tarde. Bueno, hoy la voy a recoger tal cual, ¿verdad? Lo voy a revisar mañana por la tarde para, para ver la, la, la corrección, porque ahorita a todos les va a parecer así, como dos. Con el error, ajá. Exacto. Pero ya cuando hagan la corrección, yo les corrijo la nota en la lista. Ay. Igual, teacher, uh -huh. ¿qué tanto problema me dará? Eh, porque en la plataforma aparezco siempre como José Roberto. Ay, no le creo. No, no. En la plataforma aparezco como José Roberto. Quiero ver. Ah, pero es que allí... ¿Ellos le pusieron el nombre o usted se lo puso? No, yo aparezco como José Alberto. Vamos a ver. De hecho, cuando yo pregunté, porque no habían enviado el link para hacerlo de la plataforma, para poder ingresar a la plataforma, la persona con la que me comuniqué me dijo José Roberto. Yo le dije, no, de ahí eh, tengo también la comunicación con ella. Le puse yo que mi nombre no era José Roberto, pero que me hiciera el favor de corregirlo, me dijo ya que lo iban a corregir, pero cuando logré ingresar a la plataforma apareció como José Roberto. Sí, pero fíjese que la plataforma, no, no, no hay problema. ¿Será que no? No, porque okay. este, sí, ahí es está más difícil corregirlo, por, por el motivo de que, eh, por ejemplo, en el módulo, como en el módulo cuatro creo que fue que hubieron dos compañeritos que se pusieron el nombre corto entonces después quisieron cambiarlo y a la plataforma no se los acepta entonces a usted le va a seguir apareciendo José Roberto por el resto de la vida porque como ya queda está registrado uh -huh. entonces en el otro curso cuando usted entre así le va a quedar Bien. Uh -huh. Así le va a quedar, pero, pero no hay problema porque la plataforma es más que todo para que ustedes trabajen y yo venga a recoger su nota. Okay. Uh -huh. Perfecto. No problem. Comenzamos. Uh -huh. Ok. Ma. First, practice the conversation. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. I am going to be Carla. Luigi is going to introduce the new kind of a spicy pizza for the menu. We work it in an action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? Starter. Hi, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. ¿Verdad que son propuestas las que vamos a hacer de cómo o qué haríamos para promover los la spicy pizza? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Ah, yo pensé que eran los ¿Cómo se llaman los? Ah, you can decide. Uh, because remember, the product that is new mm -hmm. is the spicy pizza. Mm -hmm. The green sticks are products that they never sell. So if you want, you can uh, launch two promotional activities. One for mm -hmm. the green sticks and one for the pizza. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um... Podría ser así una opción, teacher. Mm -hmm. okay. eh. Tell me, Carlos. You could combine with another starter that is top seller. That is top sold. Yeah, sure. So, okay. Uh -huh. Because it's better to, to relate a product 
that is not solved with one that people really love than to put it together with something that is totally new, right? Okay. Uh, podría ser también como agregar promocionales, como um, una figura, por ejemplo, si fuera comida para niños. Ajá, uh -huh, exactly, exactly, a toy. Okay. Right, add a toy would be a good option. Mm -hmm. Or, uh, for example, right now that the girls are crazy with the, with some musical groups, you can put that promotion with that. Okay. Mm, promotional with a musical group. Uh -huh. Okay. Y no le dieron error entonces. No. Ah. <risa> teacher, a Carla no le dieron error. Ah. Sí, pero a mí sí me dan error. La dos y la tres. Sí, tienen que llevar tan. Ajá. Ah, sí, tienen que llevar, pero si sí, yo se los quité y me la dio como buena. O sea que <risa> solo le puse more beautiful. Ajá, cuando hagan la corrección le va a parecer ah. mal a Carlita. Ajá, pues sí, pero como a veces, ya sé que a veces trato de otro modo, a ver cómo me sale bien. A que le salga bien, dice. Sí. sí porque yo así le había puesto, pero me las ponía mal. Pero entonces se lo dejamos con el tan, teacher. Y ahí déjenlo con el tan, porque yo ya lo reporté para que le hagan la corrección. Ah, pues ya lo vamos a corregir. Okay, Cuando okay. hagan la corrección le va a parecer mala a Carlita. Entonces, ahorita <risa> lo pongo así, aunque me la ponga mal. Sí. Uh -huh. Sí. Ah, vale. Sí, okay. así para cuando yo cuando entre la, a recoger la, la otra tarea. Bueno, ahí a media, antes de que termine el periodo de la unidad 2, voy a revisar para ver si ya han hecho la corrección y hacer yo la corrección en la lista. Ok. Pero hoy... Ah, o sea, ahora que recoja las notas nos va a parecer como mala todo. Y ahorita les va a parecer mala y yo la voy a recoger mala, después la voy a corregir. Ah. Sí, porque yo le quité el dan a las dos y me lo... <risa> y así Ajá, sí, dice. Exactly. exactly. Es que ahí se les fue un error de dedo. Sí. Okay. Yes. Okay. Teacher, tengo una pregunta con la pronunciation. Chame. Es este, quiero ver dónde está. Ay, es event or event. Event. Event, event, ok. Event, event. Y de ahí, va, y de ahí algo, el, el, quizás no, no recuerdo o no puse mucha atención. ¿Cómo ocupar el mic y cómo ocupar el cool? Ah, eso no lo hemos visto todavía. No lo hemos visto. No. Ah, okay. Hoy vamos a trabajar con eso. Ah, ok. Pues me estaba adelantando. Pero eso lo hemos visto también anteriormente, ¿verdad? Que sí, el ya lo hemos visto antes. Por la sí. Ah, ok, ok. Ah, pues no estaba ahí todavía. No, yo creo que no, fue como por el tercero más o menos. Qué ingratitud. No, porque yo soy desde el cuarto. Ah, pues cuarto. Ah, pues por ahí. Dice. Por ahí. Ajá. Adriana entró en el quinto, creo. Sí, quiero ver, sí, en el quinto. Pero sí, saben que sí. en ese, en ese tendría que haber empezado. <risa> <risa> en ese, en el seis, en el, en el uno del intermedio. Ah, really? Sí, ah. pero ahí para hacerle barra al, a Diego. <risa> Ajá. Está bien, está bien. Pero es mejor repasar también. Eso dije yo también, porque habían cosas que eran mentiras, tenía un montón de no. O sea, de sí escuchar música, 
ver qué películas en inglés o series que dice uno, ay, medio práctica, ¿verdad? Pero al final hay cosas, o sea, no es que uno, obviamente por eso está en clase, ¿verdad? Pero hay cosas que sí se le olvidan a uno totalmente. Sí, it's good to refresh. Cabal. Uh -huh. yeah. Sí, yo cuando hice el examen, bien chistoso, porque todas las bien fáciles me salieron malas. <risa> Eso pasa. La primerita que era muy fácil me salieron mal. <risa> Pero yeah, because if you go like I already know this, no problem, I can write whatever. Uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah. Ya. Pero yeah. siento que está bien en este nivel. En el que me puse. Sí, better, better. Sí. How are you doing? Did you finish? Yes, teacher, we finish. Perfect. I'm just going to check one more group. Okay, okay. Smokers. Hi, hi. Hi. Hello, teacher. We talk about the homework, the first homework. Did you finish? Yes. <laughs> okay. Ah, pues let's go. But we have some questions about that homework. Uh -huh. Because Which... we have the grown answers, mm -hmm. but we don't know why. Uh, the problem is that there are uh, there are two mistakes there. There are two mistakes in, in question number two and question number three. Mm -hmm. But eh, ya lo reporté hoy. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ya lo reporté. Así es que espere, esperamos que en el transcurso de mañana lo, lo arreglen hoy. Ah, ok. Ustedes déjenlo así como con el DAN. Uh -huh. Cuando ellos lo corrijan ya van a aparecer buenas las respuestas. Ah, Aunque okay. ahorita les aparezca mal. Uh -huh. Y cuando ponemos una respuesta, eh, ¿se puede cambiar después? O... Sí, claro que sí, sí. Ah, ok. Usted solo se ubica allí de nuevo en la respuesta. Después de que uh -huh. le dio su mipea, se ubica de nuevo en la respuesta y la puede corregir. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. No problem. Ok, okay. Me, las, me las llevo. Let's go. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. When check the list, teacher. Check the list right now. Yes. Let's see, tell me present. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Ana. Anana. Ana. Good evening, good evening. <laughs> ¿Dónde estaba escondida? Va, aquí viene ya. Eh, Carlos Josué. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present. Emma. Present teacher. Jessica Lisset. Jessica, Jessica. No, Jessica. José Alfredo. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Carla. 
Yo para Ves el teacher, es que gran... tenía el micrófono apagado. <risa> gran sed, ahí la teacher toma mucha agua. <risa> Pero yo creo que son las pastillas las que me hacen que me dé más sed. Lizette Dayanara. Present teacher. Ok, Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Nice. Rodrigo. Eh, present. Ana Grisel. Present teacher. Carolina Abigail. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Rosy. No está. Luis Mauricio. Problems in Son Sonate and a Okay. okay. Ok, bueno. Así. Ajá. I want to listen to two volunteers with the conversation and in this part. In this part. Instead of saying you tell me the promotional activity that you want. Okay. Let's go ahead. Este, Karen, was Karen? Uh, Diego. Vaya, Diego. Who's Carla and who is Mr. Sanders? I am Carla. Okay. Lee is going to introduce a new king of spice visa to the menu. We work in an action plan, but we need to say cost and get customers to try the new product. Pero no sé si está Diego ahí, fíjese, teacher. Sí, aquí estoy. Ya voy, ya voy, ya voy. Debe... Ah. Ok. Ok. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you could discount the green pepper stick that never sells. Then customers will get the green pepper stick and you put them uh, with the spice pizza. Mm. I didn't need so correction uh, in that part give me the, the emotional activity that you brought. Lo que escribieron ustedes. Teacher, yo me voy así poniendo al día porque estaba oyente. Okay. In your group, in your group, ajá. Uh -huh. In your group, you wrote up or you corrected this promotional activity, right? Because remember, we said mm, I don't like it too much. So you uh, you corrected it. How how did you correct it? ¿Cómo hicieron la corrección de ese promotional activity? Karen. En vez de green paper, dice. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Espera. Quiero ver. La típica, le iba a decir. La de paga una y llévate la segunda gratis. In English, uh, they want to pay one get the second one. brick. Okay, you pay one and the second is off. Uh -huh. Vaya, continue with the, with the conversation. Okay, I didn't think of that. Sounds sounds like a good idea. You might we. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. 
you could offer a discount to the people who call a ticket for the Okay. Oh my, I will call you later. Louis is outside the restaurant giving the free samples, but the easy telling people the pizza is super spicy. Okay, excellent, thank you. Now let's listen to group numbers. What number were you, Karen? Do you remember? No recuerdo, teacher. I don't remember it's three or five. Okay. Vamos a ver, Carla. Carla Lorena. Con Adriana. Okay. Adriana. Okay. I'm going to start. Uh, I am Carla. <laughs> okay. Okay. No, no. Comience, Adrián. Ah, sí. Adriana Carla. Adriana, okay. <laughs> Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We work it in an action plan, but we need to have to save cost and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know. You could discount the green paper stick that never sell. The customer will get the green paper stick and you would then up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought, who bought a ticket for the evening. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Can you imagine the people like this? <gasps> <laughs> yes. <laughs> it is very spicy. Okay, very good. Ajá, Diego, no, Diego ya. Vamos a ver, Grace Michelle. Grace, who was your partner, Grace? Grace, Grace. <coughs> no está Grace. Nubia? Hi, teacher. Who was your partner, Nubia? Carlos. Carlos. Yes. Okay. Hi. Hi, hi. Okay. Si gusta, comience usted, Nubia. Okay. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We work in an action plan, but we need to save cost and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you call discount the green pepper sticks that ne never sell. Then customers will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of Buen that. Buen Sounds like a good idea. You may want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, we call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but they isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Yeah, imagine for people. Thank you very much. 
Let's listen to Edwin, no, David. David, who was your partner? And with uh, the... Me. Gemma, 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 Gemma. 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 Yes. Okay. Yes. Gemma, you are, sir? Okay. Luigi is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We work in an action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you call this food the green pepper stick that never sell. Then customers will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. Luigi is outside the restaurant giving the free samples, but he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Okay, very good, thank you. Now let's see, Elmer Fabricio, did you read already? No, right? Who was your partner, Elmer? Um, Hola, buenas. Aquí, aquí uh, sería el estadio. Aquí, eh, aquí a mano izquierda. Who was your partner, Fabricio? Mano izquierda. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. Alfredo. O José Alberto. O José Alberto. ¿Quién era? José Alfredo. Alfredo. Alfredo, hello. No está José Alfredo. Ay, perdón, teacher, tenía apagado el micrófono ahí. Y... Oh, ok. <laughs> ok. Uh, I'm going to start. Yes. Um, <clears throat> Luigi is going to introduce a new, a new kind of a spicy pizza to the menu. We work it in an, in an action plan but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. How about promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, you call this cone the green pepper sticks that never sell. The customer would get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up with the spice pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event, like a concert or baseball game. You could offer the, the, a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will tell you later. This is outside the restaurant giving free samples, but they isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Okay, very good. And the last one, the last one, the last one, Carlos Alberto. Did you already read Car Jose Alberto? <laughs> he, he was yeah. like, okay, okay, no era suficiente. I remember Robert, <laughs> I'm at <a> Carlos now. <laughs> okay. No era suficiente Jose Roberto, vaya. Okay. <laughs> Uh, my, my partner is Annalisa. I'm right here. Okay. Okay. What do you want, uh, Carla or Mr. Sanders? Uh, you can start. <laughs> no, I am going to be Carla. Luis, okay, okay. <laughs> Luis is going to introduce. <laughs> Luis is going to introduce a new kind of spicy pizza to the menu. We work it in an action plan, but we need to save costs and get customers to try the new product. How about a promotional activities at the restaurant? You know, 
You call discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. Then customers will get the green pepper sticks and you hook them up with the spicy pizza. I didn't think of that. Sounds like a good idea. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert or a baseball game. You will offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Oh my, I will call you later. We eat outside this restaurant giving free samples. But he's, he isn't telling people the pizza is super spicy. Yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, nice. Now, let's see here. What about number one? Do you complete the cool. set? Cool. You cool cool discount. Discount the green paper stick cool that discount. never stops. You could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. Okay. Number two. You might. You might. You might. Ay, que letra más bonita. You might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event, like a concert game or a game. Um, what about three? You? You. Cool. You could offer a discount. Yeah, you could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the concert. Very good. Any questions here? No questions? No teacher. Okay. Now check. We're talking about suggestions or requests. The ones that you saw at the beginning, uh, you could discount the green pepper sticks that never sell. Is that is, is a request or is a suggestion? What do you think? What's the difference it's between a suggestion or a request? A request is when you ask for something, right? And a suggestion is when you tell somebody what to do in a specific case. So here, you could discount the green paper sticks that never sell is a suggestion or a discount? A suggestion or? A request. A request. A suggestion. Mm -hmm. Suggestion. Number two, you might want to have a promotional activity close to a big event like a concert. It's a suggestion too. You could offer a discount to the people who bought a ticket for the event. Suggestion. Suggestion. The three of them are suggestions, right? Now look at this. You use could and might to make a formal. These are formal, right? Formal suggestion or requests. Example, you use could to make suggestions. You could talk to manager about bundling products for the promotional event. You could generate business in a community event. So these are suggestions. Now on the other side, might is often used with want or like to add politeness. So you want to be polite? If you only use might, that is a possibility, right? But if you use might with one, you might want to, or you might like to, that means you want to be very polite, okay? You might want to have a big promotional event with a celebrity. See, that is a suggestion, but in a very polite way. You might like to schedule a promotional event along a holiday like Black Friday. Yes, the same. 
That's a suggestion that using might and like. Remember, you cannot say you could want or you could like. You say you might want and you might like. Mm -hmm. I don't know if this is clear for you. Here, question. No questions. No, no teacher, thank you. Perfect. Okay. What you're going to do, I'm going to send you to the rooms again. You're going to complete these sentences using could or might. And then we will come back and compare. That, I'm going to give you something extra here. I'm going to give you an extra assignment. You have six sentences, right? So you will write one more. One more. Yeah. So you have. You complete using could or might, and then you write one extra suggestion. Any question? No, teacher. Mm -hmm. No, teacher. Okay. I'm going to join this activity with the following check. Vamos a ver, because of the time. So you go to this check. You are a new manager at a restaurant. The menu was recently changed with better dishes, but there are still few customers. So you're going to write five suggestions as you're going to be three in your groups. We're not going to write five, we're going to write three. Each of you will write one. Okay, and you will share that with the rest of the group. So at the end, you will have three. Uno pensado por cada miembro del grupo. Okay, so if you are four, you will have four suggestions. If you are three, you will have three suggestions. So write suggestions about the promotional activities you can do to get more people to the restaurant. Entonces, right now that you go to the group, First, you complete the sentence. And here, as you're giving suggestions, right? Here, in number seven, each of you write your suggestion. Is that clear? Yes. Okay. Once you write your suggestion, you share it with the rest of the group. And then you come to share with the rest of the class. But yeah, there we go. I'm going to send you in trios. 20. Bueno, there will Teacher, be... are you going to share the, the exercise in the chat, the yeah, WhatsApp I chat? I can do it. Vamos or is in the manual? It is in the manual. Ah, so sorry. Sí, it is in the manual. If you already found the manual, that is in the manual. That's okay. Vamos a ver, I have, yeah, some groups of, of three and one group of four. Okay, vámonos, pues, let's go. Try to join. Try to join the group so you share your answers.
Ok, si gusta les comparto para que podamos ir haciendo el ejercicio. Ok. okay. Okay. Yeah. The exercise number five, they complete the sentence using cool or mint. And what do you think the answer number two? The number two is a mink. It's a mink? Sí. Mine, yes. yes. The boss. I want to start the event with a speech. Yes. Okay. Number three. Uh, cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yes, cool. The sales team could try the bundle up the food with the col collective no. Mm -hmm. Number four. And the manager might. Like the launch a new line of kids feel. The manager. Mind. My 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 line. My line to launch a new line of kind mill. Okay, my my king. Might number five. Mm. The event mm. cool. Mm. Holy shell. Why cool? The five. The number five. Why the cool? Oh, uh, why? Uh, because it's a planner VSO Christmas. Entonces, como que podría ser ese día. And the future. And the, uh, it's a probably. Okay. It's not a probably. It's a probably for the future. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you like, okay. And number six. Nine. ¿Cuál la cuatro? La cuatro. Carlita. You learn to change names. Might. Hey. Eh, ahorita ya terminamos con lo que dijo la, la Missy, la, la, el punto número 5. El 6 no ha dicho ella. No, what you're going no. to do is eh, write the suggestions. Point number 7. Okay. Mm -hmm. The suggestion no. about the restaurant or about any. Yes, about the restaurant. About the restaurant. Yeah. Sí, sí. Eh, ah, dice la 7. La you are a new manager at restaurant. The, the menu was rest, recently changed with better dishes, but there are still a few customers writing five suggestions about the promotion activities you can use to get the people to come to the restaurant. Aquí, there's, aquí están, ¿verdad? Aquí es el publicity stones. London, London relation, loyalty offering, and sampling. Esas son. No, no. Nosotros en, en esta vamos a escribir una sugestión 
en, la número, eh, en, el, en el ejercicio 5 vamos a hacer la número 7, que es la de escribir una sugestión acerca de lo que dice el ejercicio 7. Ok. O sea, en ese caso, nosotros somos un, los nuevos res, eh, managers del restaurante y tenemos cambios en el, en el menú, pero necesitamos atraer más clientes. ¿Qué Exacto. vamos a hacer? Entonces, esa es la sugestión que vamos a escribir como número 7. Es como la estrategia que vamos a hacer. Correcto. Uh -huh. Vamos a hacer yeah. uno cada uno uh -huh. diferente. O sea que vamos a sacar cuatro al final. Cada uno va a ser uno acerca de eso. Y después vamos a compartir esas cuatro en la, ya con la clase. Ok. Yo acabo de hacer la, la mía. Puse The restaurant could give little samples of dish with the tables before order. Y es acerca okay. de un nuevo producto o promoción, perdón. Dice acá que son acerca de que, que tuvimos cambios con mejores platillos. Uh -huh. okay. You change the menu. You have better dishes, but still no more people. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, le podemos poner eh, The restaurant gives a uh, samples to the client eh, um, <laughs> restaurants eh, quizás la idea sería así cierra sale eh, quizás sería Quizás sería este, eh, como la, el, el restaurante da pruebas de menú para. Para. Eh, no sé quién está escribiendo. Yo, Carmen. Ah. <risa> Eh, ajá, the restaurant gives samples to the customer, to the samples to the customer, to the customer, customer, to promotion, the dish, the dishes, to promotion, promotion, the dishes. The new dish, the new, the new dish, the new dish, okay. Uh -huh. Cuatro las que tenemos que poner. Okay, um, my suggestion it could be the publicize the new chains uh, through the social media. The uh -huh. publisher, the publishing. Publicize the chains or the, the chains? Through social media. Uh, um, social media. Sí, Diego. Pero no son las oraciones usando cool o mal. Tenemos que ocupar cool o mal Ajá, para hacer la tenemos oración. Tenemos que ocupar alguna de las dos para las oraciones. Bueno, yo por eso, cuando compartí la mía, les decía que era The Restaurant Cool Give. Ajá. Yeah. Little sí. samples. The de Restaurant Cool. No, ahí solo le hubiera puesto agregar a ah, Cool. The Restaurant Cool. Cool Give. Little samples. Cool give. Give, uh -huh. yes, little, little samples of dish. Of? Dish. Little samples of dish. the rest of. Dish. D-I-S-H. No, dish. Yo y otra cosa. Ajá. With the customers before order. Mm. 
de raza no Bien. Ahí, antes de give, tendría que ir cool también. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The publishing. Ahí tendría que ser cool change. Voy a quitar la D. Uh -huh. en, en el ejemplo que yo le di sería Mike o cool. Ahí sería cool, porque Mike solo lo podemos ocupar cuando vaya cuando es una antes, posibilidad antes de once o arte o antes de like que sería una una ajá, una posibilidad y por qué no este si ponemos cool, eh, like, hagamos una con Mike cool eh, ajá podría ser Mike won't change Mike won't want Change. Entonces, uh, sería two for one promotion. Sería entonces the boss could offer and two for one promotion. Ok, lo cambiamos. Two for promotion. The restaurant could partner with delivery service. Vale, espérame, no, porque ya lo teníamos. The partner no va. The restaurant. Cool. Cool, ajá. Uh -huh. Y los demás. Partner. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. The partner out with the delivery service. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, ya las tenemos. <laughs> Excellent. Las tres. Ok. Vamos a ver. I'm just going to check one more group and then, and then I take you out, ok? Este, una pregunta. Tell me. Esta palabra se, se, como se escribe es gire, pero ¿cómo se pronuncia? Higher. 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 Yes. Ah, Higher. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, welcome. Okay, tell me, are you ready? Yes, teacher. We have four yes, uh, promotional activities. Excellent. Okay, let's go then. Okay. Okay, everybody coming, right? Now, let's see. Room number one. Anna. Present. Okay, from your room, who will tell me the promotions? I'm so sorry, I don't understand. What are you asking? Right, let's go to room number two. Who will tell me the promotions? And then we will listen to number one. Uh-huh. Remember, you have to write promotions according to the number of the group you have, right? Is that correct? 
Yes, that is correct. Vaya, okay. So you have this part. Suggestions about the promotional activities you can use to get more people to come to restaurants. Uh -huh. I find suggestions. Okay, Rodrigo, tell me. Eh, ¿Dónde está la compañerita? Ah, ya, ya lo comparto. <laughs> ah, Permítame. Well, I'm going to stop sharing. Go ahead. Okay. Ya lo encontré, es que lo había perdido. <risa> ok. Ok. Eh, we do uh, uh, some suggestion. It says that the, the, the restaurant will give little samples of dish, of dish with the customer before the order. The restaurant could give samples to the customer to promotion the new dish. The publishing may want to, ch to change the social media to offer the services. Okay. And social media then. And Only? Uh, for the moment, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Teacher, can be the sentences, the chef may maintains the flowers of the food. Sure. Yeah, because sometimes you, this go is the to, you go to the restaurant one day and it has one flavor, the next day you don't find the same, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, let's go to room number one. Anna, or somebody from the group, David. Okay, teacher. The okay. answer, the, the five, the five answer. Yeah, <coughs> uh, the suggestions, David, and then we will check all the other sentences. Okay. One moment, please. Uh, and the uh, the question is the you are a new manager at the restaurant, mm -hmm. right? Uh, yeah. Elda say uh, you could make a game for customer to win a promotion product. Uh, the Rebecca says I call offer that the birthday person plates. It's free if the group of people is great. That five. Uh, Anna say we call offers promotional items like pencil, cup, calendars, and bottles. And Anna say me may introduce introductory uh, discounts shown on social network and call the customer frequently. Okay, excellent. Thank you. More discounts, right? And let's see room number number three. El Mercar en Olicet. Eh, si puede irme compartir la pantalla. Que... <laughs> y si no la digo. Uh, the suggestions that you wrote. Uh -huh. 
When I was a student, I'd write long essays that I'd work on for days. La parte que, que dice que el teacher no la copiamos. Ustedes. Sí, no la copiamos. Eh, usted no, ah, vale, ok. Va, entonces, eh, sería eh, de Lisset, es de restaurant school de partner of with delivery service. De Elmer, the boss school offer to for one promotion. En mí, the manager could hire an influencer person for promotion. Okay. Finish, Tisha. Excellent. Let's listen to, we have Edwin Jose Alfredo Karen. Um, I had a suggestion. Uh, the restaurant school to offer all you can eat for five dollars from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Okay. Karen. Me, uh, we could go to the movies and take a band sales of the one, two for one ticket. Permítame que la estoy buscando, que te me captura. Uh, my suggestion is we could eat familiar combo this day in the Pollo Campero. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, let's listen to Ana Alicia Gema Onubia. Puede usted, Nubia. Sí. Ahorita. Uh, the restaurant might like to eat for free at the Birdel Boy. Birdel Boy. And another, um, the restaurant it could include the discount. Um, as a new product for that uh, another another food mm -hmm. and the restaurant could give you a discount for the purchase of 30 in food Excellent. Thank you, thank you. And the last one, right? Adriana or Carlos? Uh, I'm gonna share if I don't, I don't know if, uh, do you want to read Carlos? Hey. Okay, there it is. Uh, you might want to add a toy with the child menu. You go at the all you can eat at 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. You might want to offer a free cup of wine with every main courses. And you go promote the happy hour every Wednesday, Wednesday science uh, 6 6 uh, 30 in margaritas mojitos tequila two for one <laughs> okay very good nice nice okay well 
Let's check the sentences now, right? And you say we could drive a car covered in propaganda around the city. Number two, the boss. Might want. Might want. To might. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the boss might, might, want. might want to start the evening with a speech. Uh -huh, exactly. Now, that the boss might want to start the event with a speech. And uh, number three. Cool. Good. We're going to leave this might here for later on. Okay, good. The sales team could try to bundle up the food with collect collectible mugs. What about number four? The manager might like. Mm -hmm. Como no, ahí, aquí a mano derecha. Okay, ahí, a mano derecha. Allá usted lo va a ver, hay cuatro. Ok. The manager might like to launch a new line of kids meals. Number five, the event. Could, could be scheduled. For Christmas. Scheduled for Christmas drink yourselves. And number six, the store. Might want. Might. Might, might want, yeah. Might want to use a loyalty offering for people who do business with us frequently. Okay. Well, any questions there so far? No questions? No teacher. No teacher. Okay, perfect. Well, let's call the last attendance before you go to rest. Um, Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Analicia. Present teacher. Carlos Josué. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Diego. Present teacher. Present teacher. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elda Cristina. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Present teacher. Gemma. Present teacher. Jessica Lisset. José Alfredo. José Alfredo. José Alberto. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Lisette Dayanara. Present teacher. Nubia. Present teacher. Oscar. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rodrigo. Present teacher. Ana Grisel. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Ana Grisel, okay. Sí. Eh, Grace Michelle. Grace Grace. Rosa Hilda. Luis Mauricio. Okay. Well, there we go. And number five is Diego, right? Vamos a ver. Sí. Okay, Diego, it's your day today. 
tomorrow Edwin sí, Tuesday Edwin on Wednesday Elsa bueno on Thursday Elmer Fabricio uh -huh. on Friday Gemma ok así para que se hagan una idea de cómo les toca well see you tomorrow have Sorry. a nice day Good night, everybody. Good night. Teacher, eh, no escuché lo último que, que mencionó, que escuché que dijo mi nombre. Que dije que nos vayamos a dormir. Ay. <laughs> <risa> Vamos a ver, el DAL le toca quedarse conmigo. Hoy es lunes, martes, miércoles. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Bueno, gracias. Okay. Eh, escuché que mencionó mi nombre también. El, el Mer Fabricio. Vamos a ver qué número es en la lista. El Mer. A ah, usted le toca el jueves. El jueves. No. Uh -huh. Y a Gema el viernes. Gracias. ¿El qué, teacher? Es eh, los que se van quedando conmigo 10 minutos después de que termina la clase, ¿verdad? Uh, Ajá. Okay. A usted, Rodrigo, le toca allá el día número 20. 20. Vaya, está bien. El día 20. número 20. Estamos lejitos. Bye. Bye bye. Sí, sí. Yo sigo trabajando aquí. Ok, bueno, ni modo, ¿verdad? No hay tal, no se duerma entonces. Sí. Okay. Bueno, chao. Bye bye. Take care. Teacher chao, Diego, bye. don't believe me that the. Eh, uh, the number one is. Ajá, with the problem. He doesn't believe me. <laughs> Es que quizás no le ha puesto el Dan. Es que no sé, bueno, no sé si, si tiene problemas la, la dos y la tres. Sí. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí. I'm not a liar, comprobadísimo. So. <risa> Thank you, Marcela. Bye, good night. Bye, good night. Adiós. Okay, Diego, tell me, do you have any questions? Eh, ahorita sí tengo dos preguntas precisas. A ver. La primera es, eh, del módulo de principiante al módulo de intermedio, yo he sentido yo, que es como un poquito, no sé cómo decirlo, más rápido. ¿La más diferencia? Rápido. Ajá, pero ¿hay alguna diferencia en cuanto a la metodología o, o no sé, o algo por el estilo? La diferencia es, eh, uno ya va en una segunda etapa, ¿verdad? Porque ya no son beginners, ya ahora va en intermedio. Lo otro es que ya va, eh, es, aquí son 25 clases, 25 días, no son 20. Entonces, por ejemplo, en el beginner son 20 días. Aquí ya no son 20, aquí son 25. Pero en cuanto a las metodologías, quizás se mantiene, sí, ¿verdad? No cambia. Sí, sí, no, eso sí se mantiene. O soy yo el que lo ha sentido así como un poco más rápido, no sé, o más. ¿En serio? No sé, siento yo. Sí, es que me imagino yo que es por los temas. Quizás. ¿Verdad que es por los temas que ya tienen que ir aportando más, este, ya como más ideas, más ahorita estábamos hablando de, de, de de, de estrategias de cómo cómo ayudar en un restaurante entonces ya se les tira un poquito más a, a, a que aporten ustedes las ideas más que solamente completar ok uh -huh. y dentro del plan de estudio no sé si tal vez en intermedio en avanzado no sé hay un como una parte en la que enseñen yo sé que es orientado al trabajo, pero el tema de gramática, de qué se puede usar en estas reglas, o lo van enseñando en medio de. En medio de. 
medio no hay acá no hay como un, una Vaya, semana al... por ejemplo dedicada a la gramática acuérdese que todos los días vamos por ejemplo el primer el primer día quiero ver estuvimos en los primeros días un día trabajando con quiero ver ya le cuento en la clase número uno el punto era hablar de comparatives. Entonces, ahí vimos todas las formas de los comparatives en la clase número uno. En la clase número dos, estuvimos hablando de los conjunctions. Eso es grammar. ¿Verdad? En la clase número tres. No. En la clase número tres, seguimos hablando de grama, o sea, seguimos sí. hablando de los conjunctions, pero ya más metido a, a que lo ocuparan, ¿verdad? Dentro de la, de la, de la, de la de uso. Entonces, okay. así vamos. Hay un par de días que son así netamente gramaticales y hay otros días donde ustedes ya tienen que ir utilizando lo que se, los puntos gramaticales y el nuevo vocabulario. Ya combinando la estructura con el vocabulario para ir creando, ¿verdad? Porque como, acuérdese que la gramática solita sí nos ayuda, pero cuando ya es eh, como una base para poder comunicarnos correctamente, pero también se necesita vocabulario, de otras cosas, de otras técnicas. Entonces, ahí es donde vamos unos días con punto gramatical, así bien directo, y otro día con ya mezclando esos puntos gramaticales con el resto del material. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Vaya, y la última pregunta que tenía. Eh, de acuerdo a lo que comentó en la clase, hoy es el día corte, ¿verdad? Sí. Para las tareas. No, sí. no es viernes. No, el asunto. ¿Por qué se fue a sueto? Exacto. El okay. asunto es que como viernes no hubo clase, ¿verdad? Entonces nuestra sí. clase 5 es hoy. Entonces, por eso es que se nos corrieron todas las, todas las entregas lunes. Ah, ok, pero normalmente siempre va a ser viernes. Depende. Es el número, es el día número 5. Okay. O es, por ejemplo, vaya, en este, en este curso, la programación está eh, la unidad 1. Es una tarea diaria. Sí. En la unidad 2 lleva dos videos, tarea, dos videos, tarea, dos videos, tarea. Okay. ¿Verdad? Entonces ya son prácticamente dos semanas con la unidad 2. Ok, el midterm siempre va a existir, ¿verdad? Esa figura. El midterm siempre, siempre eh, pero esta vez el midterm está allí programado para el día 15. Casi que la tercera semana. Ajá, exacto. Porque ah, okay. la unidad 2 está bien alargada. ¿Verdad? La unidad 2 está bien alargada. Entonces, por eso es que el, el examen cae cabal en, la, en el día 15. La unidad 3 la están terminando para el día 20, porque la unidad 3 sí tiene solo cinco días. La unidad que tiene así como más tiempo es la 2. ¿Verdad? La unidad 2 es la que tiene más tiempo, tiene prácticamente dos semanas. La unidad 3 va con una semana y la 4 con una semana también, igual que la 1. Ok. Uh -huh. Vaya, esas eran todas mis preguntas. Ok, perfecto, perfecto. Vaya, pues, okay. see you tomorrow, then. See you tomorrow. Bye, Good bye. Night. Take care.